Hi guys, it's Cenelius, and welcome back to Total War Rome 2. Let's carry on from the end of the last save game, which of course was the end of the campaign. Alright, game is loaded. Just paused the recording for a second because it was taking a fair, fair amount of time. Right, where are we? Now, if I'm not mistaken, there should have been some changes in terms of graphics. It says custom here. Let's go to the advanced options. Depth of field is low. Orders is large. I don't want to hide the dead bodies. Don't want to hide the foliage. Lighting. I'm going to leave it as is. Okay, I don't necessarily see exactly what the changes are at this point, really. Anyways. Anyways, let's go to resume game. Now, there's supposed to be... Ah, this is part of the change as well. So, they've actually made a change in terms of how the family sits together. <clears throat> so, family leader is this person here. The father is here, as you can see. And he's actually as a general. That's Basilius, general and gen uh, admiral. Okay. So, I can hire additional ones. <clears throat> From the opposing faction, you will see this person here. Now, I don't see necessarily the adapted people. <clears throat> so apparently the mother is deceased. Okay, that guy is married. That guy is not married. So what can I do here? Can I, can I marry them off? <clears throat> Okay, there are some options here, as you can see. Ooh, okay. That is quite nice. <clears throat> so where is this person located at the moment? So this is Procopius. Procopius. All right, let's close this down. Let's have a look. So we got, of course, our army over here. <clears throat> Pilotius, Epistor, is Epistor the leader? I thought it was. And we got of course here, Praxiteles, I believe I got another general here, Etropius, okay, Epistor, Philotius. Which one was it that actually could get... Well, actually, it should have said on here as well, wasn't it? So if we go to this guy here anyways... <clears throat> as you can see, there's an upgrade option on here as well. I could have got for that. So this is command options. And here, of course, we got philosopher, research speed, cunning. I guess I'm going to go for the command... Because, yeah, I'm leading. <clears throat> Melee attack skill for all spear units is increased. I think that would be useful. Or should I do that on this one here? Hmm. There's various, various options, as you can see. I'm not sure which one to basically assign to which as of yet. Alright, this had to reset because of the, the patch. Well, that's quite nice. Did this guy, was he in my faction or not? I'm not sure. Etropius. Let's have a look. Etropius? Right, so the only one that's not in my faction is Philotheus. So let's take this guy here, give him that extra skill here. Give me extra trade income, always welcome. <clears throat> Key reason I basically had these armies here is because I basically got an enemy fleet relatively close to us. And I wanted to be prepared for them, <clears throat> just in case. Alright, I've got some money in my coffers, so I could potentially do something with that. Let's see, can I do an upgrade here? Yes, I can basically upgrade this to a... Well, improved version of the uh, <coughs> wine production vineyards. 
maybe if I go back here, can I upgrade anything of these? No. Well, these are more my heartland at the moment, as you see. This is more acquired territory. Again, I could do an upgrade here if I wanted to. Um, I'm going to leave that off for the moment. I think I'm going to go for that upgrade of the vineyard. Or should I, should I maybe get extra units? I could, of course, recruit new units here. question is which one is the most beneficial to me now of course the hoplites would be quite beneficial the question is will I be able to get it before this guy gets back now his army is a little bit bigger as you can see eastern spearmen but he also got a levy pikemen what have I got I got eastern spearmen <clears throat> plus of course the city itself will have some defensive units um, let's just improve our, our money production through, of course, that upgrade of the vineyard. What else can we do here? Let's actually have a look. That list is empty. So this list here shows me I can still do some upgrades. So yeah, this guy here. Okay. Could get an upgrade in here. Their rank is too low. Okay. <clears throat> now, as you can see, I can assign a new entry here. So what am I going to do? Despoiler, coordinator, lookout, not all. Okay, line of sight is increased by five. I'm able to move this guy still, ain't I? Yes. All right, let's first assign that skill to him. Bookworm, menace. Um, plus or minus five chance of success of enemy agents. So yeah, there, there's various options here. The question, of course, remains is which of these would be best for me. Now, I basically want to be able to do, of course, well, support the army I'm with. Which is probably this section here. Plus two unit replenishment in local region whilst deployed. Authority based. Plus two unit replenishment in parent army. Authority based. Okay. Uh, unlock action. Burn ammunition. 10% of the ammunition of all units in target enemy armor. Okay. Uh, negative public order in local province was deployed. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, ne sorry, minus 10% negative public order. Okay, that, that's, that is better. Um, experience rank for new agent in local province was deployed. Oh, so that is kind of like, yeah, you're building up your network. That's good. That is quite useful. Um, okay, that's good. I really want to basically be able to do a better assassination and that kind of stuff. So plus three percent chance of success in all actions, cunning based. Campaign map movement range for parent army. Okay, that's good. Um, well, let's focus on actually supporting the actual local army at the moment. So let's go for the lookout in that sense. And as you can see, I can actually do an upgrade on there, or I can basically take a new skill. <clears throat> so I'm going to go for the new skill here. Steal an uh, enemy agent gold and ancillaries, as well as reducing their chance of success. Okay. 200 wealth gained after successfully robbing an enemy agent, cunning based. Okay, that's that's useful. Um, let's have a look at the army first. Okay, so they're still working on replenishment, so it would be useful to actually have a replenishment related skill. Which would be this one here. <clears throat> Alright, providing military intelligence, that's great. Now this guy here, is he able to cross over somehow? So if I look at my army here, now the army itself is static here, so I'm, I'm going to leave them where they are for the moment. I think all of these units here are doing okay. So that, that army is in good hands, I would say. Okay, so what, what's next? What else could we potentially do? Let's have a brief look at our diplomacy. So we got trade deals with various different parties here already, so that's good. Okay, 
don't need to really do much with that. I'm gonna hold this little army here for the moment, I think. By sea or by mountain, sire. It does say I can do something with this general here as well. Gravitas, gravitas. And that is, of course, leading to campaign map movement when Admiral. Okay, so let's go for the strategist. <coughs> we fight for you, my lord. Now I do want to, of course, make the chances of survival of the general better. Basilius, and that is Basilius here. Let's have a look. He's got no option there yet, so we're going to basically assign that to him. <coughs> so I'm not sure he'll get there on time, but we'll, we'll see. All right, so we got a little list of things we're researching here. Objectives we're doing okay on. So yeah, what we're going to do now, we're going to go to the next turn and see how things turn out. Is that the best choice? Yeah, I think so. Antioch's got a pretty decent fleet next to it, doesn't it? Tarsus. Is Tarsus our ally? Sorry, is that Tarsus? Ah, uh, Bith 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 Bithynia. <coughs> Bithynia is, of course, up here. So they've got an, an army here that might potentially be able to help us defend this city in a minute. <clears throat> Alright, let's see how things go. Let's go to the next turn. Oh, boy. Now that is good. Their army is right next to my city, so my city is basically being replenished and so forth. A riot at the capital. A riot has started in your capital. You suspected it was instigated by one of the other political parties. How do you react? Okay, so... Crush the riots. No, accuse in private. Private accusations. Uh, okay, the consequences of your choice are yet to be revealed. <coughs> Uh, okay, this force needs leadership now. Its commander is gone. Okay, disciple of Zeus. They're, they're all disciples of Zeus. Hmm. So there's no skill difference between them as far as I can see. So who's this? Okay, <clears throat> let's let him be led by a Pontic Swordman. Uh, Praxiteles, Praxiteles. Political party, Mithridanic dynasty. This man has reached the end of his days and is at peace. Alright, that's uh, a bit of a pity, but uh, okay. I thought I'd just assigned something to him, or maybe I did not. I'm not sure. Anyways, this guy can, of course, get upgrades for his weapons and armor, which I guess would be useful to have. Now, there's armies on the opposite side of that little yeah, opening there. Ready for orders. Do I keep my army here, or do I basically move on? I might want to basically get a, like a, a home army in place. It looks like that fleet has moved back, so that that's quite useful to see. <coughs> I'm inclined to basically take this fleet and basically start building up trade relationships. <clears throat> so as you can see, I'm moving in that direction already. Let me see if I can actually tell it to actually all the way go down here already. That's going to be a couple of mo uh, turns at least, as you can see. <clears throat> Troubled population, yes, I see that. Right, so there's two armies there, and they will support each other. I'm, I'm sure they will. At the, ooh. Actually, got better units here. I saw that last time already. I just hadn't realized that. My lord, right, we this fight spy. for you, my lord. Ready for orders. I can't do anything with him, unfortunately. <clears throat> okay, a faction was destroyed. Another fact. Ooh, Epirus was destroyed, which is just to the west of Greece. Trade gained. Authority minus. Or tariff from trade, okay. No, 
I've got ooh, not really that much money in, in my coffers, which is a bit of a pity. <clears throat> Fight for you, my lord. Right, so that is a new plus two authority when leading an army. <clears throat> okay. Now I'd like to basically let that army replenish if at all possible. <clears throat> Motivated population, by great. Or by mountain, sire. Do you want to go for capturing that other city or, or hmm? I could most definitely try that. So how many more cities have they got up there? Okay, so that's one nation. It looks like they got that as well as that province there. Interesting. I didn't realize they had that one as well. But yeah, I, I see it on the map now. Hmm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I think north is the closest, that one there. To, to well, at least they got intel on that city. Is that the gold production? Okay. Well, those would be in the same province, wouldn't they? That looks to be a pretty decent amount of money there. Right, I'm not 100% sure on which direction to go in at the moment. Um, I'm going to keep this I army here, that, that's for side. sure. Mm, or maybe I should not. Maybe I should start moving them here. No other stands that I'm basically playing at the moment. I'm, I could maybe force march. But I don't think that will be the best use of my troops necessarily. You have further orders? Right, let's give him orders to basically at least go into that city there. Now if this will be like a, a backstop here, I need to basically of course recruit extra units here as well. Now, I've got 907. Pretty much that, that makes up everything I can do here in terms of recruitment. Can I do any upgrades on weapons? No, not, not on this one at least. Oh, God. The, the, the city they're about to take over, I basically put that upgrade on there, didn't I? Instead of basically on this city, and I thought it was this city, but... Mm, okay, not ideal, but okay. Let's look at diplomacy for a second. Let's see if there's any change there, anything. So these guys here, can I maybe Welcome do some back. trade with them Welcome. finally? No. Come, sit. Enjoy the pleasures of my home, and let the merits of a treaty seem to fit. Yes. Okay. Trade with. Ready for orders. Uh, okay, that's a spy from the Selu 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 Seleucid. <clears throat> okay, I need to get this one into there quickly. And this army here, I'm going to keep here for at least one more turn, and then maybe I'm going to go in that direction. If I can cut them off from the rear, that would be great, wouldn't it? <clears throat> okay. Now, it would be great if I could maybe take part of my army from up north and basically yeah, move it down here, but you, you cannot really split an army as such. But that that would be a great thing to be able to do, but no, no, that option just doesn't exist. All right, I'm going to be forced to go to the next turn, <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure that this will have a confrontation there. Well, that's a bit surprising. So strength of your forces versus their strengths. Okay, so this is... Where, do, where does it get my strengths from? That's the garrison? Ah, that's where. Okay. Okay. So I'm kind of inclined to do an auto-resolution. Let's go for the protective stance. OK. 
Okay, now we've got captured enemies. Now I lost, I did lose troops, as you can see, 353 to be precise. Um, will I enslave them? Hmm. Enemy captured. Well, let's enslave them. That's worked out in our favor, it looks like. Okay. Okay, that's good. Lucky. The sword oh, was lucky? drawn, but now it's bloodied. End this feud. We offer peace today, or the sword tomorrow. Well, Tylus is just a single nation, and no, I'm not going to basically accept that peace treaty with them. Because, yeah, they're not going to be able to do much to me here anyways. As you can see, they're at war with various different other factions. They're allied, at least, with, with the Odrissian Kingdom. No, I'm going to keep it as is. It looks like our allies are moving armies in. It is a terrible to thing to spread war across the world, but I beg you, attack these wretches. Right, so there's those guys there. I will join the, the war against them. Yorick's. Having developed his skills, this young man is now ready to serve the common good. Son comes of age. Gallo. Alright, increase in rank. Discourus. This diligent man has a wealth of experience and continues to hone his skills. Alright. Uh, Disciple of Zeus, the accused party is now on uh, somewhat worse terms with you, but has not lost any influence. They get minus five loyalty for... Is that us or them? Hmm, okay. Right, this guy here. That's the agent. That's good. Right, I basically took that to the rank to the lookout option. It's inspired population in the Bosporus here. That's nice. Troops recruited. Right, household expansion. Order must get through plus one authority when leading an army. We fight for you, my lord. Okay. Alliance forged is Pergonon and Bith Bithrenia. All right, that's good. Let's go for the Gravitas, Candor. Right, one of the enemy armies was pushed back, and quite severely, as you can see. Right, this one, of course, needs to be regenerating, which it will do. As you can see, it can move this army closer. So in case the actual city is attacked, they should be able to... Well, at least they're in the red region, which means that they should theoretically be able to yes, step in and help out. All right, this guy here is still replenishing. It's, it's, he's not fully there yet. I think he should be able to attack that other unit there. I think. And since they are not too close to each other, I should be able to attack that unit. I'm not sure I want to, though. It would be nice if we could see somewhere where it basically only uses up half of the movement. But that unit there will, of course, be able to move in relatively quickly. Uh, I believe that they are our allies at the moment. Yep. My friend, be so well. Trade agreement as well as military access. My aggression you. Pact. The gods bless you. Okay, military alliance. Low. Defensive Alliance, moderate. That's too late for that already. But they are at war with the same party, so that, that's good. Alright, maybe what we're going to do is maybe we're going to leave most of these decisions for the next turn. Uh, next episode. So, guys, what I'm going to say is thanks again for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed this little bit of uh, yeah adventure here. And I guess I will see you in the next episode. So in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to save the game. 
Welcome tube. Yep, caps is on, it looks like. Anyways, guys, thanks again. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.